<laughs> Guys, now that we're all back in the zone here, I'm going to bring up your next comedian, Jay Hunter. <laughs> to all my teachers that said I'd never amount to shit. <laughs> How'd they know? <laughs> you know they're at a parent-teacher conference saying, like, your son is really struggling in his class. But Mr. Thompson, I just saw you roll down the window of the passenger seat just to get out. Looks like I'm not the only one struggling in my class. You got any vets in there? Because I got this cat. Put your hand down. <laughs> Ouija boards. How do we know ghosts know English? <laughs> you got a five million year old ghost only knows how to see. How do you sell that? Remember Y2K? So 3K is just three Ks was taken. I think they were more upset about that. <laughs> Isn't it crazy the best golfer in the world is black? And the best rapper in the world is white? <laughs> That's right, sir. Weird Al Yankovic. <laughs> you guys look like honest people. Someone ask a question. Who out here is using that middle button when they pull up to the gas station? I dare you to do it. Raise your hand. I dare you. <laughs> I, I'm serious. Out of six times selling this joke, there's always someone, and now there's groups of people. <laughs> Let's see, Cajun. You hit a few speed bumps, I hit a pothole, and you're like, don't worry, baby. I'm putting extra 30 cents per gallon in you. If I'm not mistaken, vehicles either call for premium or you're poor. <laughs> no mid grade. <laughs> Damn, that is real funny. You, you guys are kind of honest. That's cool. Uh, so I'm going to admit something real quick in front of you. Uh, just join me if you're a part of it. Uh, I think there's a little bit of overpopulation going on right now. I just want to just want them to hurt just a little bit, you know? Like you're sitting in the barber chair, just you know, just a little off the top, you know, just. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, because just a few years ago we had kids eating Tide Pods. <laughs> America was like, hey, Tide, stop making those pods so sexy so the kids will stop eating them. <laughs> I think we went the wrong direction. We should have had an all you can eat contest. <laughs> Those little silicon packets, do not eat, mm -mm, erase, eat, you know? Caution hot coffee, what? McDonald's coffee has to say, caution hot coffee, and don't worry, ma'am, I'm gonna retell it, just, this is historical, uh, don't look it up now. Back in like the 90s, a lady went through the drive-thru and was like, hey, McDonald's, I'd like some coffee. And do you know what those bastards did? They gave her coffee. She took that coffee, she put that coffee right here. Sorry for the eye contact. She took that coffee, <laughs> took the coffee, put it right, right here. First, I don't trust a person that doesn't have cup holders. <laughs> she drives off, hits a speed bump, lost her pussy. Just <laughs> looked like a Ken doll down there. Just, just nothing. You know, she had to get reconfigured. She was like, I'll take the Michael Jackson. You know, like it was. <laughs> Traveling around a lot, you know. One time I went to one of those fancy rest stops. You know the fancy rest stops with like the fancy signs and the arrows pointing to the glory holes. Uh, <laughs> I went into a men's restroom and I saw a baby changing station. We're trusting men with babies. There's a baby changing station. 
right there, right there in the baby changing station. It said, do not leave baby. <laughs> It didn't stop there. There was an illustration. There was like a guy going like this, and like a little baby, like, no, and a circle in the next to it. People, if we're down the pictures, we've already lost the battle. The call is coming from inside the house. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here on one story, and I'm gonna let you guys decide. Uh, is it a military story or is it a? Don't worry, I wasn't in Nam, so it isn't gonna be good. Uh, military story or a trip to Vegas? Vegas, baby. Okay, it looks like Vegas wins. Uh, sorry for the PTSD for a married guy back there. Um, a few months ago. A few months ago, I found out I was funny. Uh, I took a trip to Vegas with buddies. It was a birthday party. I learned something about my friends. All of them, all my friends, pussies. Because 9.30 is an unacceptable time to call it quits in Vegas. I don't care if it's the tail end of a pandemic. Who's going to sleep? Who's sleepy? So I'm going to give them a pacifier. Like, so they tapped out on me. I kept it going. 10.30, 11.30, 12.30. I kept it going. You know, the casinos were popping. The streets is desolate. So I was like, I need another casino. So I started walking the streets. And then I see something in the horizon coming my direction. It's tall, like beige complexion, shapely. It was like a Tiger Woods with breasts. But I know the score. I'm 6'6". Six, six. I'm black. I know the score. Clinch the purse, cross the street. She's not going to walk past me. She's not. You know what I mean? I know the score. It's not my fault I got resting rape face. Like, I was born this way. She walks directly up to me, and she says, hey, I'm new in town, and I'm working. Do you know any casinos that are popping? Do I need to explain what I'm working means? <laughs> That's right, sir, undercover police officer. That's the, no, I'm kidding. No, but no, she's exactly what you were thinking, and I got excited, because it was the first time I saw one out in the wild, so I was like, oh. So I was like, yes, the casino I was just at, popping, I'll walk you there. As I'm walking there, I'm telling her jokes to the top of her head. Every guy knows this. You know when you're killing it, and she's leaning on your arm like, oh my God. and I'm, I'm just filled with joy. I'm making her laugh. We go to the casino. She turns into my homie. We go into the casino, start playing games, like pointing out people. I'm like, hey, try him. And she'll go up to a dude and she's like, hey, so I, and he'll be like, yeah. And then she'll say, and also him too. And he's like, yeah. And you know, oh, that was my thing. She took me to the bar, bought me a drink. That was my thing. But I had to ask the question because I'm, I'm a, I had to ask. I had to ask. How much? It's fair, right? How much? Five hundred dollars an hour. That's a house payment. <laughs> I'm a comic in Detroit. Somewhere that's a house. Five hundred dollars an hour. But for you, I'll do it for a hundred. Where my math was is at. Eighty percent discount? Are you kidding me? And I fucked the shit out of that undercover police officer. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, also that I could come back to Ohio and tell you about how I got AIDS in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> that's been my time. My name is Jay Hunter. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I do not have AIDS. <laughs> Guys, give it up for Jay Hunter.